Now not now. Now Baba Kills. Postal voting for the 2024 presidential election commenced today. The first day of postal voting was reserved for officials of district secretariats, election officials and police personnel to mark their postal ballots. Marking of ballots commenced at 9 a.m. this morning. A total of 712,319 public service employees are eligible to cast postal votes for this year's presidential election. Tomorrow and the day after have been reserved for employees of other government institutions and members of other security forces to mark their postal ballots. Postal voters who are unable to cast their votes on the initial dates can do so on the 11th and 12th of September at the district election office of the district in which their workplace is located. Meanwhile, election observers commented on the first day of postal voting. Paffarel has deployed nearly a thousand observers to postal voting stations across the island with a considerable number of voters. The government announced that cabinet approval has been granted for a public sector salary hike just before postal voting commenced. Moreover, other political parties have been issuing various promises to employees of the public service. We believe that public servants will consider these promises diligently before casting their vote regardless of whom they vote for. Marking of postal ballots concluded at 4 p.m. The Election Commission stated that no incidents of election violence were reported on the first day of postal voting. Postal voting was peacefully conducted today at all locations. No irregularities or violence have been reported. Suppose election results are being circulated on social media platforms. We consider the publication of such fraudulent information as deliberate attempts to sabotage the fair election process. Postal votes will be counted together with all the other votes after 4 p.m. on the 21st of September following the conclusion of polling. I would like to remind the individuals who are spreading this misinformation that instead of aiding the candidate you are supporting, it will be detrimental to them.